Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bit different to what I usually do. Normally my videos are about books, but today is about my other love in life and that is a season. And if you can't tell from the colours that I'm wearing and the cosy feeling around me, my favourite season is autumn. Normally my videos are about books, that is what I created my channel for, but I have bought so much autumnal stuff lately that I just needed to share it with someone, so I thought I would show you a haul of everything that I have bought recently. This is not all of the autumnal stuff that I own though, I have got some stuff in the loft but I'm at home on my own and I can't access the loft because I can't get the ladder down and I also haven't got all of that stuff down yet because a lot of it is more Halloween. This stuff that I'm going to show you today is purely autumn. So I hope you don't mind this kind of different video on my channel and I'm really excited to share this stuff with you so let's get started. Any guesses for what flavour coffee I have in my cup as well right now? If you didn't guess pumpkin then you might not get the point of this video. The mug that I just drunk out of is not included in this haul because I got it about two years ago. It was a gift from my husband and I don't know where it's from and again, even if I did, it wouldn't be in the shops anymore, so sorry about that. But what I can show you is the stuff that I have here and we will start off with how I make my own pumpkin spice lattes at home. I love Starbucks pumpkin spice lattes, it is the true sign that the autumn season has started. I also love their pumpkin spice frappuccino, so if you don't like coffee that much and you don't want a hot drink just yet, then maybe try their frappuccino version, because they are just as amazing. So this is a pumpkin spice syrup, and I actually got bought this by my mum for my birthday, but I forgot to include it in my what I got for my birthday video. I think it's because I put it in the kitchen by that point, and all my other birthday stuff for the video was in the living room, so I completely forgot about this. But it wasn't really the season for this in June anyway. I have only just started using it, and I've probably had about 10 coffees out of this so far, so that's how much syrup I've used. I think it's filled up to right here. And I absolutely love this. Just a teaspoon of this into a small coffee in the size mug that I have got there. I don't really measure it out actually to be honest, I say a teaspoon but I just sort of glug it in. <laughs> but um, this is absolutely amazing, it really does taste like the ones that you get from Starbucks. I will just mix this into a normal coffee or I will get the latte sachets from a supermarket and I will make one of those up with hot water and then add a little bit of this and some milk to it. If you want to go all out obviously you can also add cream and then sprinkle a bit of cinnamon and nutmeg on top. The other autumnal coffee that I have been drinking is this one and I think the brand you say is Grand Cafe Collection and it says World of Flavours and it's Jazzy Jack-O-Lantern, a frightful, irresistible, hardy brew, spicy and filled with magical pumpkin delight. I bought this one from HomeSense and to be honest I don't think this one really tastes of pumpkin. It has got a slight spiciness to it but it's just a really strong coffee to be honest. It is still really nice. This is one that goes in our coffee machine, it's not an instant coffee. But I do really like it, it's just not very pumpkin-y. pumpkin is probably not a word, but you can't taste pumpkin in it is what I'm trying to say, but it is still a really nice coffee. I probably should have started with the most autumnal thing in this room that you can see the whole time that I am filming, and it's actually the reason that I chose to film in my room today rather than downstairs, and that is my bedding. This bedding is from Matalan and it is lovely, it's got autumn leaves on it, it's got stags, it's got hares, it's got squirrels, it's got foxes, I absolutely love it. I bought the quilt and the pillowcases in a set and then I bought two extra pillowcases and the sheet underneath separately and then I bought these mustard cushions, I've got one on each side and then here I will show you this up close. But this is my favourite thing that I own for this autumn haul. This cushion is from HomeSense and I bought this while we were in Brighton. We also have another cushion here which is this one. This is also from HomeSense and this is sort of in the same range because it's the same stitching on here for this pumpkin as those ones there. And as I said this one is also from HomeSense and this one is going to go downstairs now that I've shown it in my haul and it's going to go on my sofa and I've got on my sofa I've got four cushions, two on each side up the ends where the arms are and then in the middle I've got a cushion that's this shape and it's a little bit out of shape now and it's looking a bit old so I want to get rid of that one and put this one out for this season and then I'll buy a new replacement once the season is over. I can't wait to see what my living room looks like once I've got all of this stuff set up downstairs. The next thing I'm going to show you is in this Laura Ashley bag and there is a bit of a funny story behind this. So one of my friends that I used to work with actually sent me a picture of what is in this bag about two weeks ago I think it probably was and said how cute are these like I just get tagged in a lot of autumn stuff by my friends and colleagues and people like that because they just know me so well and she sent me a picture of these pumpkin soup bowls from Laura Ashley 
and I fell in love with them and I was like okay I need to find these and buy them so I went straight onto the website and was like oh found them I need to buy them sent a picture of them to my mum because she'll appreciate these autumnal things that I've been buying because she's been doing the same thing and she didn't sound very excited and I couldn't work out why she wasn't excited by them because I thought she'd love them she loves Laura Ashley anyway she's got wallpaper from Laura Ashley and loads of other home stuff so I thought she'd really like these but she didn't really say very much about 20 minutes later she turned up at my front door <laughs> with this bag turns out she'd just been over to our local Laura Ashley to pick these up because she'd ordered one in for me because she knew that I would like it and then bought another one when she was there because she thought it would be silly just to have one so I now have two so I've waffled on about it enough I should probably actually show you they are all wrapped in bubble wrap how cute are these soup bowls? I'm not going to take them all apart because they've got plastic wrap around them to stop the lid coming off but they have the most adorable little lid that you put on to keep it warm and I just cannot wait to use these. Clay is going to get sick of eating soup over the next few months because I'm going to keep making my own soup and then serving them in these bowls. They are absolutely adorable. If they are still online then I will leave a link in the description box for you so you can go and buy your own. The next thing I have to show you, I'm not actually sure if I'm going to be keeping yet. I originally bought this as a throw to go over the end of our bed. We've currently just got this old cream plain thing that I had when I used to live at home and I really wanted to replace it. Ideally I wanted like a fake fur throw at the end of the bed but I can't find one in the right colour that I like. They're either too dark or they just don't look right. So my mum picked this up for me but I don't think it's the right kind of orange. I was kind of hoping that it would go with the cushion but this is a little bit warmer than that orange is. That's a bit more burnt orange and this is a little bit warmer. But I do still really like it so I'm wondering whether this will be a nice throw to have downstairs over the arm of the sofa and then when I've got my pumpkin cushion in the middle this might look quite nice on the side. But again I also really wanted an orange checked throw to go over the arm of my chair downstairs as well so this isn't what I wanted for down there either so I don't know if I'm going to keep this but if you like this this is from Sainsbury's. The next thing I'm going to show you is this pumpkin. This is made of glass, this is also from HomeSense and we did have a few different versions of this but in the end this is the only one that we decided to keep. I absolutely love the colour of this, it's not so in your face but it's also quite different as well. I just love the effect on it and I can't wait to make a display with this and some real pumpkins once the pumpkin patch opens at the end of the month. The next thing I got was this autumn wreath and this is also from Home Sense, and I just absolutely love this. I love that it's got acorns, pine cones, mini pumpkins, all the autumn leaves and the colours on it. I just adore it. I actually have had an autumn wreath on my front door since we moved in here two years ago and the one that I have on there for the last two years was one that I made myself. I will insert a picture of it here for you so you can see what my one looked like compared to this. It's nowhere near as fancy as this one. But for mine I actually just bought a wreath that looked a bit like this. I think it was only like a pound or two from Hobbycraft and then I bought some stems of autumn leaves from Hobbycraft as well. And we just basically sort of shoved them in. I think my dad went over it with a hot glue gun because some of them just started coming out. And just tied a bow on it and just tried to make it look as autumnal as possible as you can on a budget and when you are trying to make it yourself. So I did my own DIY wreath but I can't wait to hang this one up this year. This cute little pumpkin here my husband bought from HomeSense about a week ago. I wasn't there but he still came home with something autumnal despite the amount of stuff that we already had. And underneath is a switch because there is an LED light on the inside. It gives off this lovely glow especially in the evenings. I can't wait to have this out on the side so it makes the room feel all cosy. I also have these adorable little autumn bowls and to be honest I think these are possibly my favourite autumn buy this season and I haven't actually opened them yet so should we try opening it? Because then you can fully appreciate how pretty these actually are because you can only see them on the little pictures. So these dishes were from HomeSense and I think they were only about £6 for four and they come as a little set and inside they just have the most adorable little pumpkin designs. So that one's got that pumpkin and you've got this one can see that. So they're all slightly different but they're all the same sort of theme and I just thought these would be really nice to have out on the side when you've got people coming round and you can just put like little nibbles and things like that in them so I really like those. Those are definitely my favourite buy I think from all of these autumn things. I just have one last little thing to show you before I move on to my massive candle collection. I've left candles till last because that is what the majority of this haul is. And this cup was bought for me by my husband last week when he went out again. I can't remember where this is from actually. It doesn't say on the bottom either. I know this wasn't HomeSense though. 
and it's just a cute copper mug and he bought this because he thought I would like to have my hot chocolates and pumpkin spice lattes in this during the autumn. He actually said to me, I just thought you'd like a hot drink in this so you can have this in the autumn when you're sitting there with your blanket and your book. This is how well my husband knows me. He knows exactly the sort of things to give me just to give me a cosy quiet night. So I'm really looking forward to having a drink in this. I was going to use this today actually but then I found that autumn mug instead so I decided to use that one. So as I just said, the last part of this video is going to be all about candles and I will start with the few little bits before I move on to the actual big candles. The next thing I have to show you was bought by my husband, so can I just say that if anyone is looking at this video and going, Janae, you have too much autumn stuff for your house, no one needs this much stuff, my husband's buying stuff as well, it's not just me. So this adorable little candle holder was from Asda, I believe, and it's just a tiny little mouse which is adorable and it's just got like half a pine cone here and the tea light just goes inside there but I can't wait to use this. I think this is a new scent for Yankee Candle but this is one of those tarts that you put in one of the burners and this scent is Autumn Glow. You can buy these in lots of different places but I normally buy mine at my local garden centre but I can't wait to burn this and see what it smells like when it burns. Hopefully it'll be just as good as it is when you smell it in the packet. So this adorable little candle is from Primark and I think this was only £3.50 and it just has a little lid there so it's got the apple leaf on the top and inside there is your candle and I actually can't remember what the scent of this was. I want to say this was something like blackberry and elderflower but I could be making that up completely but it did have some plastic wrapping around the outside that had the scent on it but I've obviously taken that off so I don't actually know what the scent is. I'm sure it said blackberry though so it's blackberry and something at least but as I said I got this from Primark and I just loved the cute little container because I thought as well once that candle's been burnt you can just put a tea light in that and still keep it as a decoration anyway. I'm cheating a little bit by putting this candle in this video because we didn't buy this this year and actually we didn't buy it at all. This was a wedding gift from one of our evening guests last year. Oh, I just love that smell though so I had to share it with you. This is one of the Woodwick Trilogy candles and this one is bakery cupcake, orange ginger snap and coffee cake. I love these Woodwick candles because I love that crackling sound that the wick makes when you burn it. It's just that pure autumnal feeling just by listening to that. It's like a bonfire crackle. It's just amazing. So I love these candles for the autumn. So before I show you my final selection of candles, I have seven to show you here. But these are all from HomeSense and they are all by a brand called DW Home. I believe there's a website actually on the bottom of here that you can look at. Yeah, dwhome.com or you can search them on Facebook as DW Home Candles. But I have seven different scents of these and I love every single one so I will show you them now. The first one is Pumpkin Allspice. That really is just pure autumn spice smells. That is clove, that is cinnamon, nutmeg ginger that's all of those scents all in one candle the next one is caramel pumpkin and i didn't think i was going to like this my husband came home with this one and i was like oh last time i had a caramel one it smelled like curry so i was really hoping this one wasn't going to smell like curry and you'll be pleased to know that it doesn't it's got a really sweet smell it really does actually smell of caramel i imagine it's sort of like salted caramel but um the pumpkin in it isn't actually very prominent it is more of a sweet caramel scent I told you I'm not very good at explaining scents but that is that one thinking about it I didn't really need to buy this one after I had caramel pumpkin but this one is pumpkin toffee so this one is probably basically the same this one isn't as sweet as the caramel pumpkin one but it's still lovely I actually think I might burn that one once I've finished filming this video this one is white pumpkin can you sense the pumpkin theme here with these candles and that one is spicy, but it's not as spicy as that first pumpkin allspice one that I showed you. This one's a much more subtle smell, and actually this one's possibly my favourite. Yeah, I think this one's my favourite so far, definitely white pumpkin. Then we have the last pumpkin themed candle, and this is pumpkin pie and vanilla. And this actually is a real top contender for my favourite. This one really does smell like pumpkin pie and it's a lot more subtle than some of the other pumpkin ones as well. The vanilla really helps to tone it down a little bit as well and I think it helps with the sweetness as well actually. So yeah, really like this one. The last two candles I have, this one is just vanilla bean. So this isn't really an autumnal candle but I thought it smelt spicy still. It does. I actually think this one smells spicier than the pumpkin pie one and the white pumpkin. The last candle I have doesn't match the colour theme at all and is not similar to any of the other scents at all and this is Frosted Leaves. 
this is a really fresh scent I just really like this one this is a wintry one as well so you could carry on burning this after autumn this could go into winter as well also I suppose this jumper kind of counts as being autumnal as well this is from Primark and I absolutely loved this I like the sleeves on it and I just like the colours so if you were curious about where my jumper is from it's from Primark Hi guys, sorry for a quick change in camera but I have just finished filming my autumn haul and I have just realised that I forgot to put something in it and I've packed all of my camera away and everything so I'm not going to get all of that back out just to show you this one thing but I forgot I bought some pyjamas from Sainsbury so I'm just going to show you those. So these are the pyjamas I got, so they are long trousers and they have got foxes and hedgehogs and deer and squirrels and things like that on them and they're in little jumpers and hats and scarves and stuff and then the top has got like buttons down the front they're like old-fashioned pyjamas but they're thin ones as well so they'll be good for the autumn when it's not quite cold enough to wear your really thick fleecy pyjamas but these are still good ones because they've got long sleeves as well because I do like sleeves on my pyjamas so these are nice cosy autumn ones I'm really excited to wear these and I'm really annoyed that I forgot to put them in the haul but here they are now for you so that was everything that I have to show you for now and as you can probably tell I don't really need to buy any more autumnal stuff but I will probably end up buying more at some point anyway. I really should be on an autumn buying ban now with the amount of stuff I've just shown you. But the good thing about all of this stuff that I've just bought, minus the candles obviously, is this stuff that can come out every single year when it gets to this time of year. It's not stuff that is just going to be used once and that's it. This is going to be stuff that I'm going to always be able to keep. Like a Christmas tree and all your Christmas decorations, I can box all of this stuff up and get it out at the right time of year. I do have more autumn themed videos planned for you, especially relating to books because that is what my channel is mainly for. But if you like this video and you like this kind of different thing on my channel as well, then do let me know. Share with me in the comment section down below what is your favourite thing about autumn and was there anything in this video that you really particularly liked? Again, if I have got any links to any of the items that I have just shown you, then I will leave a link in the description box below for you so you can go and have a look and possibly buy them for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!